Hi, so good morning. My name is Matt Campo. I have the honor and privilege of being the CEO of RMHC New York Metro. I am here today having just an awesome conversation with a new donor to uh, our, the RMHC chapter here in the New York Metro region. Um, please help me welcome Mr. John Greenhut. He is the CEO of Shear Science out of Farmingdale. So he's going to talk a little bit about um, what it is that Shear Science does, but really we are here today uh, to just um, get to know each other a little bit, to talk about uh, the tremendous generosity of Mr. Greenhut and his family and uh, the team at Shear Science. So, um, John, welcome to our conversation today. Thank you, thank you. And by the way, I'm looking at you in this beautiful background. It looks fake, but now that I'm looking at it, it's not fake, is it? Because I see no, we are actually we are coming to you live today from really our headquarters in New Hyde Park at the LIJ campus next to Cohen Children's Medical Center. Uh, this space here um, is our great room. So it's the, it's the, the spot here um, in New Hyde Park that really welcomes everyone that visits uh, the house and the chapter. So um, what you see behind me is one of our signature dollhouses. Uh, there's many in the room as I look around here. And so I'm um, so looking forward to getting you and your team to come and and visit us here to really see firsthand uh, what it is that we're doing. Yeah, and it, it's, it's look, I, we're excited to be involved with you guys. My wife has been a donor for years on a smaller personal level. And now I think we've recognized that, you know, you, what you do is so important. Um, and the story, you know, for, for me, it is a, there, there is something personal because uh, I grew up with my older sister who was very ill. She's uh, five years older than me. And when she was a little baby, she contracted meningitis and encephalitis and there was no cure for it back then. So my mother found a doctor in Philadelphia who saved her life. And she spent weeks and weeks and weeks in, uh, in Philadelphia, sometimes my father and my mother. Uh, and thankfully they had the wherewithal to really, you know, stay at a hotel and, and, and be well taken care of with meals and so forth. Uh, however, there are a lot of people out there who, who just don't have that ability. And, uh, you know, when you have a sick child, I don't think there's anything more stressful in life than that. So it's, it's, it's really nice that you guys have this service and um, I'm thankful to be a part of it. Well, and I appreciate uh, just really how, how well you sort of, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, get it, right? I, I mean, I think that um, not only your history with your family um, and your wife's involvement with the organization to date, but um, really just your ability to see uh, the, the real importance behind the mission of the organization, which is really just sort of providing for all of those non-clinical needs for families in the midst of a, of a really a pediatric medical crisis, right? So that the families can focus on what's most important, um, what your parents were focusing on with your sister, which is the health and well-being of their, their child. So, um, so I just so appreciate um, you and your family and your company's um, ability to get behind what it is that we're doing. So, so thank you, truly. Oh, you're welcome. And, and, and by the way, I smile just because, you know, we're all working, well, you're not, but we're working from home. And uh -huh. so you're barking in the background. We have three dogs here now. We used to have two, now we have three. So uh, it has become part of our new world. It's, yeah. it's, it's all excusable. We, we, the, the barking, uh, the kids at, at my house will be chattering in the background sometimes. Uh, I appreciate you acknowledging that, but it's uh, never, never an issue. Um, so, you know, for, for, for us, we, we, we're looking forward like to the day that we can get in there and sort of get our hands dirty and bring my whole team there. We, I, the one thing I'm very fortunate about, you know, by the way, the, the, you know, I almost feel like when you have success in business and success in life, it's our obligation to give back. And it's easy to say that, but you have to do it. And so, you know, every quarter we have um, a, a charity that we focus on. And so, you know, this, this quarter, it's, it's the Ronald McDonald House in New York, and I'm thrilled to be doing that. Uh, last quarter, it was poverty related to COVID-19. And so we try to diversify and we stick with these charities for years to come. Um, but what I'm very lucky about is that we have a business that we had a, we had a very hard time when 
this first started, uh, when COVID first started, um, our business was, was really decimated for about a month and we lost a lot of money. Um, so the, the, what I'm thankful for is that we had a team that stuck together, we worked hard, and we were able to make sure that we make money going forward. And so it's not only about making money. You know, our business model is about, it's something totally different than money. We are here to help people feel good about themselves. And we sell products, yes, that truly work to cosmetically reduce wrinkles and under eye bags, but we're really here to make people happy and feel confident about their appearance. And so those are the, like Plexiderm is one of our best selling products. I know you guys know it, um, it's on television everywhere. And so the goal is, is to make people feel good, especially in this time of, you know, of stress and difficulty. So our team is, you know, has stuck by us. We've, you know, we've all at one point took a salary cut. I took no salary for a while. Um, and then we came back and so, I'm fortunate to have a team that's so great, so charitable, so, you know, so embedded in, in trying to help others that, you know, we, we try to do this. And this was the most difficult two quarters of my business career. So, you know, so we're here now trying to support charities virtually. And yes, you can do things monetarily if you can afford it, which we can, and I'm thankful for that. Um, but I am excited to get in there and, you know, hopefully in the next four, five, six months, we're able to, you know, to, to get people there face to face and, and, uh, and really get more involved with you guys. And I think, you know, you hit on so many meaningful points, uh, not just for the, the relationship and the partnership that, that um, we are now forging, forging ahead with, but, you know, some of the things that, that stick out to me and what you just said include, you know, your commitment, your family's commitment, really the company's commitment to community. Um, and, and I think that that's something that just so resonates for us here at RMHC because uh, we, we are a, a community funded, community supported organization. Uh, the reality is 90% um, of families that we are serving here are coming from the, the tri-state area. They're coming from Long Island. They're coming from the five boroughs of New York City. So it's something that we uh, not only look for in our, in our corporate partners, but um, something that we value and cherish beyond, um, beyond words, uh, that, that uh, that's something that's important to you and to your family and, and to the company. So thank you. Um, and, and there are, there are so many ways you can get involved. You have made a, a leadership gift that, 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 that helps the organization really um, propel forward in these hard times. I think that, um, that uh, in addition to that, there's other ways that you and that your, your employees can come alongside us in a volunteer capacity, right? We, provide, when we're providing for all those non-clinical needs for these families next door, um, it includes meals. We have groups come in to cook every night of the year. We commit to it, to a home cooked meal. We have mm. um, uh, families that need to be transported in our vans. We have families that need, um, gosh, everything that you would imagine needing at, at your home or any of your, your um, uh, employees' homes. So, uh, so all of that's just so meaningful coming from from you as the lead well we're, we're we're happy to be able to help we look forward to doing it more in the future and it's a great cause and you know as we spoke about before a lot of charities are having a very hard time right now raising money people are just trying to keep their head above water uh, so I think between the incredible things that you're doing uh, for people who just can't, you know, they can't, it's not comfortable when your child is sick and you, you sometimes, I, I know uh, Devon, uh, who's your associate, told me people drive, you know, 50 miles a day just to get back and forth to the hospital and you make it easy for families. And so um, I think a lot of people are very appreciative and that's why you've been around so long. I agree. Yeah, it's, 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 it's um, a mission that uh, it's, it's just very pure. It's really... Uh, just trying to be there for folks that are really in the midst of, as, as you mentioned, um, the personal experience, in the midst of a really crummy situation. Yeah. So, so thank yes. you. Well, I'm, I'm glad to have been here and, and thank, you, uh, thank you for this interview. So John, tell me, if people want to find out more about Sheer Science, not just the, the awesome products that you're developing and, and the, the ways you're getting involved in the community, just tell me where they can go. Do you have a website? We do. Uh, 
A lot of people know us for Plexiderm, so you can go to Plexiderm.com. It's P-L-E-X-A-D-E-R-M.com, or you can uh, visit Shearscience.com. Either one works, and you'll find out all about the company. That's awesome. That's great. And I will tell you that if um, any of your employees or anyone that you come in, into contact with um, wants to know more about us, you can certainly visit our website as well. It's rmhcnym.org. That's Ronald McDonald House Charities, New York Metro.org. Um, but just the, uh, the, the, the letters there, rmhcnym.org. And there's ways you can donate there. There's ways that you can get involved. All of our volunteer opportunities are there. Our wish list is on our website. So if you want to do a drive and, I don't know, collect things like paper towels and dishwashing soap for us, you can certainly do that. And um, we're here. We're here in New High Park, and we would just encourage um, you, your employees, your family, the community to come and visit us and take a tour. That's great. Well, maybe after COVID-19. Perhaps. Few- and we'll make sure that we're all wearing masks and social distancing. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate you having me.